So I'd like you to close your eyes and focus all your awareness in the center of your head, in the pineal gland. We're gonna do a pineal gland healing and activation and cleansing. But I want you to put your attention in your pineal gland and hold it there. Really put all your focus there. Now, and I would like you to, from that center of your head, focus your awareness down your back, okay, down your neck, down your shoulders, down both your arms, like the energy is branching off, going down both your arms, and the energy is fountaining out of your hands. Let the energy, as it's doing that, continue to run down your back. At the same time, allow it to run down the, the front of your body. So it's going down your front and your back at the same time. And let that energy, your awareness, take it down into your stomach, your pelvis, your groin, your thighs, your legs out your feet. Now I'd like you to bring your awareness back to the pineal gland. And in a moment, we're just going to send energy to your pineal gland. You might see, feel, sense something, know something's happening, but just stay in the center of your head. What I'm seeing are layers of an onion being peeled away. He's saying this is the residue that we're clearing away because the pineal gland does get clogged up. It does get impacted by environment, things you eat. So layers are being pulled away. Now what I see happening is being kind of polished, kind of shined. Yeah. He's saying, okay, he's saying it's more like being buffed. I don't know what the difference is that, but okay. Take a deep breath in. I want you to breathe light into your pineal gland. And we're gonna do the same thing. And what I'm seeing is that gland kind of spinning. It's spinning and I'm hearing it's activating. And I want you to know if you can see it, you might not be able to see it and it's okay if you don't, but I want you to notice if you do see it spinning, which direction it's spinning. Is it going to the right? Is it going to the left? I'm hearing if it's spinning to the right, then it's clearing. If it's spinning to the left, right? Going left meaning clockwise, right would be counterclockwise, right? Going to the left, it's he's saying we're installing. Like installing 
program for you to be able to see a clearly clairvoyantly. And don't worry if it's clearing and you think, wait a minute, I want the installation. <laughs> it's okay. You can watch this again later and it's gonna change. But we can't download you until we clear what may be blocking your in the way. All right, so that's going to continue to unfold, let's say, while we're together today. Or if you're watching this later, it's going to continue to work on you for the rest of the time you're watching this replay. But so I just want you to, to sit back from that. It's on, it's, it's on, he's on he says it's on autopilot now. <laughs> OK, he's, he's managing that for you but we want to do the water healing now because you want to get to the one-on-one -on -one healings too for you. So if you have a glass of water, this is really simple. Let me show you my glass. I just want to show this. This is a really beautiful glass that my friend Evely gave us for our wedding because we got married on Zoom. Like it'll be, what was it? It's already been, it's been two years. Yeah, it's been, it's going to be two years. In. We already had our first anniversary of our, of our interdimensional wedding. But this was a glass she gave me, and it has a heart in it, etched. You can't, probably can't see it, but it was a heart. So I filled it with water. Okay. What we're going to do with your water and our water is we're going to put healing in this water. Before we do that, I'd like you to think about what you want healed. This, do not underestimate the power of this water with our collective intention and us joining you in that. Okay, because this could, can heal things that you may, you may just blow your mind. Okay, can't promise you, but it could. Could take away your pain, could heal your, he's saying could even possibly heal somebody's cancer, could heal any number of conditions. We're going to see the great thing about it is he wants to say to you that if you want to repeat this after today, just do the same thing, go get your glass of water, right, at home or wherever, get your glass of water, hold it like we're going to teach you, call in Alan. When you call in Alan, you're calling in me too. You can call in me instead of Alan. Same thing because we both show up. He's, he's, he's laughing. He's going, I can't keep her away is what he's saying to me. I just can't keep Pam away. Yeah, right. It's like, it's me the problem. So we both come to your assistance and charge up that water. Okay, But you do have to ask. And he says, if you don't want to ask us for help, that's fine too. But he says, what he's saying, he's going to keep an eye on you because you showed up today at this Zoom. And you see, I see him at the door taking names and numbers. <laughs> I've got your name. I am going to keep an eye on you. And don't think I'm joking because he has shown up for people. They've told me, you know, I, I saw Alan. Like, what was that about? Like, I was in your class or I'm in your group. And I go, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, the, the guy comes along with whatever we're doing. So Claire's saying, yeah, I've got your number. Yeah, he's got your number. Uh, you can always say no to this, right? Whatever we're offering you, you don't feel comfortable. All you do is say, I don't like that. And it just bounces away, it just disintegrates. That's how it is. That is how powerful you are. You just say, I don't want that. Or just think it in your mind. I don't like that, not for me. So it'll go away. But if you're open to it, we're gonna do this right now. I'd like you to hold your glass of water. Remember, I had you fountain the energy out of your hands. That energy is still pulsing through your hands, whether you can feel it or not. We're going to turn up that a bit, and we're going to place our hands over the water. And I want you to just think about what you would like this water to help you with, whether maybe it's to just really help you release stress. Maybe it's to ease your pain. Maybe it's to, to heal some condition, whatever it is. Maybe it's just to help you feel happier, lighter. So we're just going to take a few moments and program your water. 
Okay, so I'm just going to tell you what I saw. Um, I, I saw my glass of water, and I, it's representative of everyone's water. And I saw these sparkling, sparkling lights, like the sparkles. And I just watched it until it kind of just, just settled down, like it stopped sparking, it stopped sparkling. It's just, it's just spread through all the water. So now I'd like you to take a sip of that water and let me know if it tastes any different to you. Does it taste sweeter? Does it taste different at all? It might not. He's saying it might not. He's telling me it could change by the end of, check that water again at the end of today. <laughs> I, think, I think my husband's showing off. He's like going to keep playing with that water. So just, but I would like you, you know, before the end of the day anyway, that you drink all that water and allow that, because think of how powerful that water is. And we know that through the work of Dr. Masaru Emoto, who wrote those books about, um, you know, water, power of water, that, that the water, the water goes in every cell and you can't program it. So we just program that to heal you of, for whatever is appropriate for you to be healed today. And you can do this again tomorrow. Colin, us to do that. Okay. And this is it tastes like sweet tea. Yeah, it usually it tastes sweeter to me. Yeah, Anne says it seems to taste a little sweeter. That's generally what people say. They go, this tastes sweeter. So you can do this with your water. You could do this with your food. You know how people bless their food. Um, and that's fine. But I'd say the water, especially because when you drink water, it goes into your whole body, right? Not, your food, not so much because you're going to digest it. Water goes through your whole system. So, so do this, especially if you're struggling with anything. He's saying to me, recommending that you do this at least seven for a week, seven days. Do this every day. Like get, get a big thing of water and maybe, okay, you show, let me show this one. I have this really ginormous thing of water. This is like 24 ounces or something. So something like that, like big, like a big bottle of water, um, program it, right, right? Like put the energy in it and, and then drink that either through the day or one time, whatever, and do that for seven days. There's, and he says, and, and track what, how you feel. Okay. It might take longer than that, but he's saying for most people, they should probably feel something shift in seven days. And if not, just keep drinking water because you got to drink it anyway, right? So, so what's the harm? Just, he says, just keep drinking it. He's going to keep helping you. Right, Marie, Marie says, most of the body is water. And the average is roughly exactly. So, so the water is being absorbed into every cell and it goes everywhere. So, Christina, um, yeah, once a day or, or, you know, like if you have this big bottle of water, whatever, however long it takes to drink it, I usually drink two of these in a day. And I actually drink some other water too. So. Kathleen says it tastes uh, cleaner. Don't taste the minerals the way I usually do. Okay, so he's saying, doesn't mean the minerals aren't in there. He's saying it, it's just that the composition has changed. So it seems to taste cleaner. It just seems to taste different. Doesn't mean the minerals aren't there. Sorry, Nancy, that's can I do it with my lemon water? Yeah, you can do it with your lemon water. That's fine. That's fine. So, so yeah, do this once a day and see how you feel. See how you feel, because this is free. Alan wants to help everybody for free. And yes, we do healing sessions too. And in there we go deep. And then that's going to be way more customized for people. And I'm going to talk maybe a little bit about that before we start the one-on-one -on -one healings. Like what, what we've done and what I've done in the past, but he's helped me understand what I'm capable of doing that I've been holding back because, because of the responsibility of it. But he's been kicking me to Got to get out there and do what you're here to do, babe. Like, come on. I said, all right, all right. So we are doing that. Joel says, oh, I've been solarizing my water in a purple jar. That's cool. Great, great. So, but also remember to to put in that, yeah, put in your energy into it. Ask, it doesn't have to ask Alan to help you, but you can. And hey, he's free. It's free. So did I get everybody's questions? I think so, or comments. Okay. 